Here's what happened, EMX 250 race two here in Portugal. Harkon Osterhagen with a flyer. Etched out everybody through the first turn. Right behind him was uh, Miko Vettik, and behind him, Lucas Kunin and Rick Elzinger. Cornelius turned out a couple of positions behind. But the challenge for the lead came early as Vettik found his way past Harkon Osterhagen and into the lead. Rick Elzinger then found his way into second with that pass on the young Norwegian Osterhagen. His teammate, Tone, uh, well, Sasha Kuhn in there, fell down on the opening lap. The lead changed hands here as Elzinger dived down the inside of Vettik. And then Cornelius turned out, found his way past Vettik into second, having already found his way past his teammate. Then Perez fell out of fifth place. He re-emerged in ninth. Battles going on further down the field. Oriol Oliver not having the same kind of race as he did yesterday, eventually coming home. Oh, that was the big crash, though, wasn't it? Between Vettik, yeah, and Osterhagen giving him the Italian hands. Those two picking themselves up. But anyway, EMX 250 race two. The win belonged to Rick Elzinger. Just as it did in race one, he stood on the top step of the podium with the perfect score here this weekend. Lucas Kunin on the podium, second overall with two, uh, two, two third place finishes. Tondel third, but Elsinger now extends his lead to 16. It was four at the start of the weekend. Tondel is now second. Uh, Oliver up to third, but your top three here this weekend. Rick Elsinger, Lucas Kunin and Cornelius Tondel. Of course, Rick Elsinger continues to lead as we head to round three. Rick Elsinger, congratulations. 1-1, one, one, second overall of the season. Comfortable win in that first race. Uh, second race leading the way, but you really couldn't afford to relax. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, the first race was just uh, amazing. You know, just uh, get the field, controlled it. Uh, felt like it was uh, like a training session. Uh, just doing my laps, um, just looking at lap times, and uh, yeah, just really comfortable. Uh, second moto as well, really comfortable. Had to pu push until the end because uh, yeah, Tondo was quite close. But uh, yeah, I, I held the gap. Uh, consistent, so he didn't come close enough to, to make a pass or attempt to pass. And uh, yeah, just uh, just too amazing to, to get my first 1-1. One, one and uh, yeah, just uh, I can't thank everybody enough behind me, you know. Just uh, the hard work is paying off and uh, I just love it. Great job. Thanks, thank Rick. You.